Okay, now we're going to show how to do a uh, multiple variable uh, regression analysis using the add-in. Uh, I have here data on the percent free lunch, the full time, the uh, teacher's average salary, and the student teacher ratio for a bunch of school districts in Pennsylvania. Um, so I'm going to go to the data tab, choose data analysis, choose regression, click OK. Um, and this down here. Uh, like I say here, when you're using the regression analysis add-in, you should include the column labels, uh, but when you're using LinS directly, you can't include the column labels. Alright, I need to say what's my input Y range? That is the output variable, um, and that is the math test scores. That's what I've chosen. So I click on the top of the label. To go all the way down to the bottom really quickly, I hold down the shift key and the control key and press the down arrow. And then finish that. The X range is the explanatory variables. Um, so I'm going to get ready to do that. I can click on the label. And then I'll hold down the shift key and cursor to the right twice. And now also hold down the control key with the shift key and press the down arrow. And that gets, gets me all those. The X variables have to all be in the same block. I can't have them be uh, separate columns with other stuff in between. Uh, I have to tell it, yes, I gave you labels. Um, do we want it to introduce a constant term here? We do want it to introduce a uh, constant intercept, so I'm not going to click this box. Um, I might as well ask for confidence level uh, stuff, 95% is good. Um, do I want to see the residuals? Yes. Do I want to see the standardized residuals? Um, not today. Uh, do I want to see residual plots? Yes. And line fit plots? Yes. And uh, if you've taken a class in probability, you might want to see these normal probability plots. So I hit OK. And it creates another sheet here. Um, and it shows me a lot of things. So here's my R squared value, adjusted R squared that takes into account the number of variables I'm including because every time I include a new explanatory variable, R squared itself will go up. Um, but adjusted R squared should only go up if the new variable is actually helping explain things. Um, how many observations did I have? Here's my intercept coefficient. Here's uh, the coefficient for percent free lunch, for the teacher's salary, and the student teacher ratio. Um, I can also look here at the p-value. Roughly speaking, that's the probability um, that this could accidentally be zero. Um, and the student teacher ratio uh, does not have a minuscule probability there. So what we're saying is that uh, coefficient is not statistically significantly different than zero. Um, over here we have the predicted scores, um, predicted scaled math scores, and the residuals. And it's often a good idea to graph your predicted values versus your residuals. So we can do that. Control shift down and insert a scatter plot that. And I don't see any remaining pattern there like a smile or a frown uh, or a sine wave. So I think we've captured the essence of what's going on in the data. We can also look at these other plots. Um, so in theory this plot should be somewhat close to a straight line. It's really hard to tell on this scale. Um, and we can look at all these others separately.